Virgo, Virgo, oh, oh, uh, oh, Virgo. How y'all doing, huh? As I was meditating, this is the title that popped up here for me, okay? Striking a vein of love and financial abundance. Yeehaw! Now, striking a vein, if y'all don't know, I'm seeing like a, um, an old, an old miner, you know, like the, like the gold rush miner, and you're striking that vein, okay? And what it is, uh, uh, they would hit a vein of gold, right? And they would see that they would, you would pull all this gold out of the, they would strike it rich. And that's what you're striking. You're striking a vein, a butt of love. And also I'm seeing now like a vein, like the actual veins, right? You're not striking them, but it's, it's you, right? You're loving yourself. And that makes everyone else around you love you too. Some of you a bit, I don't want to say selfish. What the, that's not the word I'm looking for. Yes, some of you, and you know who you are, and I'm getting a bit of conceit. You do you. Hey, it's hard. It's hard to look inside and say, uh, that's yes, I I have been conceited or not been, or you know, but for a lot of you, it's just you're loving you. It's a new year, it's a new you. And I know that everyone says it, but it's true. You're like literally stepping into yourself, love and abundance. And like like a miner going out into the mountains, you know, and mining for the gold. You're out there, you're mining, you're going for it. Right. And uh, also as a Virgo, you are an earth sign. So, you know, a miner out there on earth, you're it's funny because you're in like regular street clothes. I see men and women, but like there's this spirit of like uh, an old 49ers miner, you know, which, yes, it is a football team as well. But, but you're out there, you're mining, you're mining. It's like you're with people at work. You're very social. And, you, uh, and it's not like you're, you're not like digging in deep trying to you know figure people out you're just you're just doing you and and, and you know working on the railroad oh the right and just loving it whistling a tune and everyone around you is like you raise the vibration wherever you go and that's awesome 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 oh great read so far what a good energy virgo amazing energy i love it i lo thank you for sharing it with me Woo. Let's jump right on in here, y'all. We are going to do uh, Love Oracle Cards, start you off here, okay? And as always, please like, share, subscribe. And if you're watching me on TikTok, check out the full video on YouTube. If you're watching me on YouTube, check me out on TikTok. Friend me. Let's be friends. Also, if you guys have ever experienced a paranormal uh, experience or supernatural experience, email it to me. I would love to hear about it. Uh, my email is mcdaniel.pat at gmail.com. McDaniel, M-C-D-A-N-I-E-L dot Pat, P-A-T, at gmail.com. And uh, I will share it there with you all as my voice wants to go right now. So know what we're going to do? We're going to take a little coffee. Oh, yeah. And if you guys have any fitness questions, I made some workout videos today. Check them out as well, y'all. You'll love them. So we'll go right to the top here. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And you you have the faith too. Some of you, it, yes, it is waning, but but not after this reading. You can feel it too. You're like, I really am feeling myself. Yes, there's some doubt and insecurity. We all have it. We all have it. Don't bypass it. Face it. You know, face it. Now, yes, you can get emotional about it and we can, and that's okay. If you need to cry, cry it out. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but if you want to write out all the good things and, and pros, cons, there's so many different ways of doing it. You, you Listen to your intuition, your guides. I know you're coming here for it. Thank you. Uh, but they will lead you. You will be guided, not led, guided to the appropriate way to handle it for yourself. Because not every way is the right way or the wrong way, but there's your way. An ancient wise master once said, it's my way or the highway. That was Dalton Roadhouse. And I'm not saying you have to do it my way. I'm saying you have your own specific way of doing things. Bruce Lee, Jeet Kune Do, right? That was his way. You'll find yours as well. But you're very optimistic right now. Like you, you're out there. Like I said, like, like a miner. You have to be optimistic. How many of those miners actually studied like geology and things? I'm sure they learned a lot as they went. Maybe some knew beforehand. But that's the optimism, right? And you're striking it rich in love and abundance, baby. Oh, yeah. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Ooh. 
You know what I'm getting with that? Not, yes, there's red flags in the world, but again, much like that miner, there are dangers out there. There's wolves, there's animals, there's, there's robbers, there's, uh, you know, they're keeping their claims secret, right? You're just cautious and you are aware. Humans, right? People, people, you, you know. Um, you've already put your, your faith or your, your, I'm seeing apples, your, your apples in, in the bag of the wrong people, right? And they just took your apples. I don't know why I'm seeing that. Um, and you learned, you learned from it. And that's why you're striking that vein of, of love, wealth, and abundance and things, because you've learned these lessons, right? I don't get you calling them a red flag. Some of you may use that language, but I'm not getting you calling them a red flag. You're just like, oh, I know that now, right? Much like a miner, again, doing like, oh, I know what this means. No vein of gold here, not a problem. Let's test this, you know what I'm saying? You're an expert now at what you do, right? And, and you know what? the key to being an expert to something is always being open and optimistic, knowing that you are not the master or an expert. Masters don't call themselves masters. Everyone else does. That's just because they have so much experience. You know what I'm saying? An expert, other people claim them to be an expert. And you're like, well, I'm a, in my field, yes, I am very knowledgeable and people do consider me an expert in it, but I love what I do. So of course I'm gonna continue to learn more you know, new things. Boom, right there for you. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. What am I getting with that? I'm not getting anything. I'm not going to lie. And that's okay as a psychic. But Pat, wait a minute. The cards are supposed to... Yeah. Sometimes I don't get anything. The card itself, me reading it, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. We're going to pull one more, but I'm going to leave that as is. And that's for you. Got to be confident to do that. Right? That's a lesson for me as much as it is for you guys. You deserve love. You are lovable. Yeah. What I'm pulled to here is that arrow. Okay? You're very specific on what you want. Right? And like an archer, you understand not just, you know, aiming that arrow, but understanding that the wind, the earth moving, and that you... To hit here, this target, you got to aim it that way because then it's going to, you know, because the earth curvatures, right? There's a mathematic rhythm to it. You understand that. Again, you are the expert of your field, okay? You've already done this kind of work. So when you're out there mining what you need, again, you know, like, okay, I'm going to hit this part here and it's going to work out. Like, that's the best way I can explain it to you, Right? It's about the honeymoon. It'll come back around to us, I promise. But Virgo, you are doing so great. Let's look at your finances for a moment here, all right? Some of you feel like you're not, but you really are. You really are. What's that? Yeah. Um, and you're not being too emotional. You're just kind of letting them, let them flow. You really are doing amazing. You have no idea how great you're doing. I just saw one of the cards in here. Maybe should have pulled it, but nope. We're going to shuffle one more time, one more time here, Virgo. And again, please like, share, and subscribe. All right. Oh, my goodness. The deck is so big in my hand. Stop it, you. All right. One more thing to shuffle. All right. Good, good, good. Ooh. Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless. Events requiring immediate action. Trust your instincts, what we were just saying. Stay focused. A passionate relationship. Yes. You deserve love. A honeymoon is coming in. Because it's your magic, you know? And again, it's it, it's like you're racing. Usually with something like a horse, I get a knight. But this, this is a knight. A knight of wands. Your magic is coming in quickly. I mean, it's racing in. It is, it is more than just racing. It is... Uh, it is passionate and loving because you are loving. You're loving what you're doing. Again, I'm going back to that minor thing, but I'm also seeing this feather in the hat. You're very, 
you may not think you are because you are a Virgo earth sign, but you're very flamboyant. And I, I don't mean that like get your anything. I mean, you're exceptional. There's something you do. You just, you just shine and it's in the air right now. And the world can see it. And that feather is like a big representation of like, kind of like peacocking, but not in like a pickup artist, swinger. No, no, no. Like a literal peacock, like, you know, who's beautiful and majestic. Also, peacocks do that as a defense mechanism. It looks like a bunch of eyes, you know, so, so things will get scared off that look bigger than them. So know that it's kind of like a protection for you too. this, this, you know, voracious, uh, vigorous, uh, magical self that you're being, right? It, other people will, will be intimidated. And there's nothing wrong. Not that you're trying to intimidate anybody. You know, that's on them. You do you, Virgo. You are really just shining so bright right here. I'm really, really a fan of your energy. And you're looking to the stars, right? Like you're universal. Like your energy is just so glorious and, 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 and widespread. And that's the justice you deserved, right? Be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win. If your position is one of integrity, you will win if your position is one of integrity. I'm really kidding, Virgo, that you didn't have to question that at all. Like that's the justice that's coming in for you. Uh, some of you were seeking the justice, right? But But you were... By you just being you now and, and really loving yourself and enjoying uh, every aspect of what you were doing. Get like a miner out there. And I'm going to keep using that because I keep seeing it like 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 the striking gold, you know, but it's but it's an emotional gold, but it's also abundance and wealth. Like that's the justice and other people are going to have to see it. Remember, we just said that like other people can be intimidated or, or anything, but that is it's on them. OK, you're not going out of your way to like harm anyone. You're just being who you were born to be. And, and the, the scales are balanced. You are balanced, Virgo. Right? And your angels are there with you. And we have the six of wands. Magic, magic, magic. I love it. I love it. I love it. Victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Promotions, awards, or scholarships. I mean, I, I can't make this up, y'all. You saw me shuffle it. Right? Like... You, Virgo, you're in it. To, you're, you're winning. You are winning. Victory, you know, old uh, Johnny Drama style. You know what I love most of all about this card in the Six of Wands? Not only is she holding the flag with the with the sun shining bright. It it looked, and I'm gonna use this as an example. Uh, and again, nothing wrong with her or anything, but a house mom. I'm not saying you're a house mom. I, I mean, it might be men watching, but what I like, it's just like she's not super starred up, right? She's not like super muscular or ripped or like, you know, jiving, talking. She's, she's in like warm-up clothes and a sweatshirt. And boom, illuminating, right? Six also means balance to me, harmony. But man, your magic is bright. You're out there just shining bright, Virgo. You're, you're, I mean, more than just shining bright, you're, your words, your, your whole mystique. And I don't mean you're mysterious. I mean, your whole like... There's this mystique and mysticism around you. There's this energy, this aura. And anyone that comes in like you're, they know it. Like they smile, they feel better. And you're just doing you, right? You're not even really trying too hard there, Virgo. And that's beautiful. That's magical energy. Uh, not quite office space energy. And that's what I call when the guy, when they wanted him to do evaluation. And he was like, no, I'm not going to do that. That's not what it is. I'm saying you're, you're just being you. And other people... You're shining bright, okay? I don't know why the office space thing came in. That's for somebody. But uh, you're, you keep keep illuminating. Keep shining bright. You're doing so great, Virgo. You're doing beautiful and amazing. I love you guys. I love you, love you. Thank you so much.